It's been years since I showed sweet peas. It used to be one of my little pleasures in life. I don't get many now, but uh, I've taken to growing them up these wigwams. Years ago, I would grow them in long lines across, uh, across the garden, and the canes would be upright, and we would have two rows, and then you would cordon the sweet peas. If you come round here, I'll show you exactly what we mean by cordoning. If the cameraman would get her finger out, it would be helpful. Now, to cordon a sweet pea means to take it up one cane. And to do that, you generally cut off the tendrils. Can you get these tendrils? Tendril is the wispy pieces. You can see this here is a tendril, and it's just energy goes into that tendril. They look like little growlers that come out of your bikini bottom. Stray pubes. You don't want them. So you just nick them off. Away you go, what are you grinning at? You get a problem with them. Anyway. So then you, the other thing you would take out is side shoots. Can you see this axle here? We would nip out these side shoots um, that come from the leaf axles. The leaf joins the main stem. And then tie them in. And we'll go up and up and up the cane until we reach the top. And then when they were done, and you reached the top, you'd unpick it all, and then drag it back down and start again, right up. But tying sweet peas in has always been a laborious job. When I was a, a young gardener, it used to be my job to tie in all the sweet peas. And we, I, the head gardener used to give me a bowl, a bowl of jute string. And he'd go along and tie everything in like this. And this is the late 60s, early 70s. Bloody long time ago. And he'd go up and up and every few inches you would tie them in. Later on, we started using these. These uh, ring ties. Are we getting those? And uh, those are fine. Much, much quicker. You could go up the pole. Can you get this? And just clip your ring tie on. Squeeze it together. Away you go. Fantastic. Except you sometimes get a big pole. It's a problem I've had for years, but that's another story. Then, today, we use a thing called a Max Tapener. Tucker. This is a, a Max Tapener. You see, I'm going to tie my fingers together. There we are. And it's perfect for sweet peas because you can just take them in like that. Very, very simple. Look down here. But these I'm not cordoning and we're just going to let them grow through each other. And just put the tape around and it's tied in. Fantastic. A machine like that will cost you around about £40. Hardly worth it. You're much better off with these. You know, if you go to a garden centre and try and buy these, they'll cost you about a pound for a 10 to 20. I'll show you a way of making them very, very cheaply. If you go to a ironmonger's, if you've got one, or a garden centre, you can get some wire, just rolls of this wire, it's about a pound. And then you just wrap it around and around the handle of a rake or a broom handle. Just keep going around and around. This is
This is a gardening tip, you know. I don't give away many gardening tips. You end up with one of these curly whirlies. Cut it off, put your curly whirly together. Old pair of scissors, and there you have it. Loads of those for a pence, next to nothing. And you can tie all your sweet peas in, and that's it. What do you reckon, Tuck? Edible? <laughs> that's the end of that one then. You can stop filming now. Well, you always do this, I feel like I write plonker. I'll just cut it off at the end.